Fuck. Let's even try. Fuck. Some bullshit. <sighs> Sitting in the uh, neighborhood of one of my old, old friends on the top of a hill in a cul-de-sac. And I'm uh, thinking we should coast down it. <laughs> nah. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's get some slalom going so I don't crash. I only have uh, front brakes. Oh yeah. Actually, I don't know what it is about um, coasting. Cause you can go like 100 miles an hour on a bike, but you coast down a hill and it is great. I don't know. It's I don't know. It's awesome. Um, anyways, back in uh, 012. Me and my friend, or my friend had a Halloween party, and uh, we played beer pong and uh, drank a bunch, and it was pretty fun. But after we were all drunk and shit, we started getting bored, you know, because you know beer pong only lasts for so long, and uh, I. <laughs> I pitched the idea that we should go TP some houses. You know, it's Halloween. So a few people were kind of scared, like, oh, no, no, no. And then we kind of got, we kind of coaxed them, and they, they finally did it. And they came out with us. They're all scared and shit. We had, like, all the toilet paper and, like, the whole house with us, which was, like, six rolls or something like that. So we're walking around this neighborhood. It's about one in the morning on Halloween, well, I guess after Halloween, oh, hold a sec, and uh, so we TP the neighbor's house, and then we TP another house, and another house, and then we run out of toilet paper, and we're like, let's get some eggs, um, some people said no, but we got eggs anyways, and we smashed them on the windows of cars, <laughs> I don't think any got on the paint, but I don't know, we were young and drunk, nobody cared. And then after that, we decided that wasn't enough and we need to go pumpkin smashing. So we did. So we went around grabbing everybody's pumpkin all sneaky, we thought we were so sneaky, but we're all like whispering really loud and like yelling at each other. But we'd get a pumpkin and go out to the street, or get as many pumpkins from like around an area, and go out in the middle of the street, and we'd all lift them over our heads and just slam them down, they'd be loud as shit. Like a little firecracker going off. <laughs> and then we'd all giggle and run off. <laughs> but um, the next door neighbor, like right across the street from him, had one of those like super huge, hmm, super huge ass pumpkins, like huge, with a big old uh, witch carving or something. Looked like a, little, like a little kid did it or something. Like right here at this house. We did this house, that house. We smashed that house teepeed that tree, but we ran up and got a pumpkin from there and smashed it on that corner. 
we're all over this neighbors. But the next neighbor, I'm gonna roll up on the house really quick, had this huge pumpkin and I couldn't even lift it myself. It took two people to lift this pumpkin up in the air. And we, we, we wouldn't even want to smash it out front because we're like, oh, you know, it's just front neighbor or whatever. Uh, this house? Yeah, this was his house. If he still lives there, I think his mom does. And the big ass pumpkin was up there on that porch. And we uh, carried out down down that hill, almost falling, around to this guy's house, right here. And we went up on his driveway, and two people, we lifted it over our heads, took this huge pumpkin, and just smashed it over his driveway. And it just a bliver, a bliver? It just obliterated the entire pumpkin. Like. You know how sometimes you'll break a pumpkin and there'd be like little chunks left? It was just like a pile of mush. It was <laughs> it was quite a smashing. That, I mean, that pumpkin was so big. It like, like, see how big the driveways are? Like imagine a two car driveway. I mean, he had no cars in there. They're in the garage probably for kids fucking with them. But his entire driveway, end to end, had just pumpkin all over it. It just like filled the whole driveway easily and some into the yard. And then we just took off sprinting and we're all like, oh my god, everyone heard it. Uh, and then we went down another street, smashing some more and uh, smashing, uh, did a couple eggs, put some bologna on some windows. Uh, I think one guy did a Jolly Rancher on a window. And we get to towards the end and, you know. We weren't really getting any responses, obviously, because people are sleeping. Ooh, a VW thing. But I think it was this street. It was like one of these houses or something. We, uh, one of his friends or one of the guys at the party took a, a pumpkin. It was like a, a like a kind of a, a littler one. He picked up the pumpkin and ran and went up to the like the front door of his house. And it had like a, a screen security door or no, no, it didn't. It, it just was like a wood door and. He took this pumpkin and just hurled it at this door. It sounded like a freaking bomb went off the way it hit the door, it was just so loud. And by the, before he even threw it, me and like everyone else were like halfway down the road just running from him. We don't, we don't know what happened, but like, I'm sure those people thought they were getting invaded or like a bomb went off or some shit. It was really loud. So that's my little pumpkin story. It's like security. Yeah. <laughs> I waved at him. Maybe he'll make. Maybe he'll think that I belong. Get this way. No, nope, not this way. Get out of here. No, well, not this way. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Can I get out over that way? Yeah. There's no gate or anything right there? Where are you headed? I'm just, just driving through. I'm just looking at it. Trying to find my way out of here. Is that a uh, main road right there? Ah. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that was probably the most exciting new job I've ever been. <laughs> 